the girls are fighting. Just when you thought the drama was over, it wasn't. Okay, um, these sisters are at it once again. And, and in my opinion, I think Sierra is the one that ignited this fire. So Sierra narrated a story about her life struggles, which is very motivating as a teenage mother who once stood in a food stamp line. In my opinion, she used that narrated story under the guise of motivation. But in reality, in my opinion, I think she was trying to flex on the sister and her mother or not necessarily flexing, but she was trying to throw them under the bus again. And we thought this was over because of the, the um, altercation that took place was two weeks ago. Um, the sister, her Instagram was deleted and she got it reinstated. Um, she hasn't posted anything on Instagram in those two weeks until Sierra posted her motivational narrated story. And her sister didn't like that. Let's take a look and see why her sister didn't like it. And then we'll um, look into her response as well. Number 18. What number are they on? Like, what, what number are they on? Yeah. How long have you been here? Eight. Since 8 a.m. when they first opened. Oh, God. Well, I hope they on 0522. I'm 0524. I'm ready to go. Welcome to the Fulton County Food Stamp Office. Will 0524 stand up and say your name, please? This is my name. This is my number. Your this number. is my number. Your number. This is my number. 0524. Oh, yes. Well, hey, y'all. My name is Sierra Renee Thomas, but I won't be Sierra Renee Thomas for too long because I'm going to get married. And my husband, he going to buy me a shop. Well, he actually going to take his old gambling house and make it into my salon right in Oakland City. But I'm not going to be there for too long either because my shop going to get robbed at gunpoint. But then it's going to get so big because the shop is so small. So I'm going to start wondering, like, where I'm going to go next? So then I'm going to go into the Glam Shop. The Glam Shop is on Peter Street. On Peter Street, wondering, like, where I'm going to go next? So then I'm going to go into the Glam Shop. The Glam Shop is on Peter Street. On Peter Street is where I got my name of fame at. And that's when I became Sierra Glam Shop. Love and Hip Hop even found me. After Love and Hip Hop, I traveled all around the world with Microblade and Sierra Way. Money Monster started over 15,000 businesses during the pandemic. But are we ever gonna talk about that? You think they ever gonna give me my credit for that? But that's not it though, because as things get deeper, as I start getting more money and become a bigger millionaire, my mom and my little sisters go on a whole lives and try to tarnish my brand, my character, and everything about me. Today, I'm 35 years old. I got my mind, I got my soul, I got my dignity, and most importantly, I got my relationship with God. My kids adore me and I'm happy. And guess what? I made it to 35 years old. So if y'all think I took over and came in and scratched the surface in these last 34 years, you better watch your fucking bag. Baby, you looking at my family's first billionaire. All right, so you guys seen that, and I feel like Sierra could have given her testimony, which is very inspiring, um, without mentioning her sister and her mother. And I don't think it was wise for her to do that because they just had a big feud less than two weeks ago. So to me, I was, I, I think that she, it was motivating, but also she used that opportunity to also poke the bear, which is why her sister responded. And let's go into what she had to say. So, so she, she posted some um, comments in her story. And then she also went live on one of her friends, Instagram. So the first post she said you got to be one sick ass person, Sierra, for real. I have been silent for two weeks while letting you prove points every day. I woke up to my puss being posted all over Instagram by your daughter, who you sent the pictures to and told her to post because of an altercation we had the night before that was kept behind closed doors off the internet. She had over 150K followers and left my naked body pics up on her page for hours 
while I was calling you, begging y'all to delete it. Y'all didn't, so I exposed your truth. Now you're playing victim and acting like I did that because I'm jealous of you. Like, huh? Y'all brought personal beef to the internet first, and I finished you. You real life sitting up here saying I exposed you because I'm jealous of you and what you got like girl what you and your daughter posted my naked body and old pics of me when I was a big girl thinking it was funny now when I had to say about you hit every blog page you play victim got people feeling sorry for you stop trying to capitalize off this situation before I expose everything mm. And let's be very clear. I did not, I did not tell not one lie about you. I have videos of the truth and so much more I didn't post because at the end of the day, you're my sister. But you talked about my six week old son calling him ugly and had parents to post revenge corn of me. What I exposed about you really wasn't enough compared to what y'all did. I should tell and show everything. Jealous of what exactly? Please tell me what I'm jealous of. I live in a nice ass penthouse. I lost over a thousand pounds. I'm healthy. I'm beautiful. My son is beyond handsome. My man take care of me and pay every bill I have. Get me whatever bag, shoe, jewelry I want. I want. I work every day making thousands of dollars. My life is amazing. I went through so many trials and tribulations and prayed to God for the life I have right now. So once again, jealous of what? Somebody can ask this girl what color the sky is and she can say yellow. And if y'all tell her she lying, she gonna say you jealous of her. She need help for real. And girl, I can do the same shit you're doing. The same networks and TV shows are reaching out to me trying to pay me. And I've been turning them down because I don't give a F. Like, girl, shut the F up. Maybe I do need to film since you can't seem to let it go and shut the freak up. All right, y'all. So, like I said, that um, her little sister also went on Instagram Live under her friend's account. And she had more to say. Um, I only got 14 minutes of it because I was not gonna sit there and listen to anything over 15 minutes I just wasn't doing it but what I did capture we do get a gist as to why the feud escalated in the first place on the internet so here it is and if her little sister have to tell us one more time she has a great life and that her man take care of her I am going to scream oh, I believe it's cap <laughs> but we get it. Let me explain to y'all. I'm trying to read our comments. The stylist did not have no tea on my sister. I'm trying to explain. Hold on. I'm not serious. I see you're not a man. Man, you look different. I must be pierced. Of course, I look different. I'm not on live with my makeup done. And shit, like, and that's the shit I be saying. Like, people be like, of course, every female do this. Like, I don't get why y'all shame a female who have attention on her. Like, when it's an attention on me at the moment, y'all try to shame a bitch. Like, oh, you using filters. Like, bitch, we are females. Y'all get on Instagram and put on a filter and take a video too. Y'all put y'all makeup on and take a picture and post y'all best picture too. Do y'all not? We are females. So why the fuck is the problem when I do it? I can't put on my makeup and get on Instagram and take a picture. No, I'm doing like everybody do the same shit, but when I'm doing it is I'll get out of makeup. Let me like yeah, let me block her, cause I don't know who the fuck she is. Why y'all lying to this girl? You talking about why y'all lying? Why she lying to me? What? What you mean why they lying to me? Girl, I'm not ugly. You can never make me feel ugly. I would never feel ugly because you said I'm ugly. Show me your man. Put put my put this live in front of your nigga face and ask him if I'm ugly. Y'all take your nigga. Fuck y'all take your nigga. But 
how can I be pretty like you? I really do. I prefer you should be cute. You could be cute with a derm. I had a derm and um, that shit had like crates and other cute or just some shit. So I had to take that shit out. I can't really talk about my sisters. Okay, so we cannot talk it out like sisters because it has gone entirely too far. So at first, this fucking altercation was kept over the phone. It was kept over the phone. It's kept behind closed doors. Matter of fact, it was kept in the house. We had went to my little brother's birthday party that was at my dad's house. And when we seen each other, she was like, oh, you know, D, her stylist, came to my house after leaving your house telling me everything y'all was saying about me. And I was like... I know for a fact on my son life, like I didn't speak on my sister to no motherfucking outsider, no stylist. This is her stylist. Why would I speak on her to her stylist knowing he gonna go back and tell her, like, come on now, making any sense. But I'm like, no, that's a lie. Her your stylist sat up there and was telling us your fake tea, like right? was speaking on you, whatever. And um she was like, Oh, Really, like, we gotta stick together as sisters. Ooh, ooh. Like, she was believing it and on our side. And then two hours later, she called on the bullshit. Like, I guess she got in front of somebody and she was just going off and was saying, I'm jealous of her. She said, No, she, the whole family was jealous of her because she's a millionaire. She was on the phone calling my son ugly. She was speaking on my love. And that's when I took it there. Like the altercation over the phone, she was talking about my son. She was speaking to my son, speaking to my son over the phone, like saying hurtful shit about my six weeks, six weeks old son. And I'm and I'm still not taking it to the internet. I still didn't bring it to the internet. I'm letting this bitch talk. He was talking about my son. I'm letting her talk. And the next day, I get but one thing about me, I'm eat a bitch up. I mean, especially about my son. I'm going to eat a bitch up, and I do not play about my child. So I was eating this bitch up, but yet it was still behind closed doors. It was over the phone. Nothing was brought to the internet. I'm eating this bitch up. But you brought my son in it. I'm taking it there. I'm letting her know about herself. Like, I'm telling it all. Like, bitch, yo nigga, I'm, I'm eating it up. My mouth, my mouth is lethal, okay? I don't gotta kill a bitch. I don't gotta fight a bitch. Like, I heard a bitch with my words, choice of words. Like, so I'm eating this bitch up so bad to the point the next day, but you went to sleep thinking about the shit I said to you. To the point the next day, you decide to get up and send your daughter pictures of when I was a big, when I was a big woman. And I have no shame in meeting that I was bigger. I posted all the time when I was bigger and how I lost weight. And my weight journey, like, you, that wasn't no tea to clock. Because I had been showed the world that, like, I been showed the world when I was a bigger girl. But she thought it was funny to body shame me and telling her daughter to post pictures of me when I was bigger. And my naked pictures. And I still didn't go to the internet. I still didn't say nothing. I kept quiet. I called her phone personally. And I was like, Sierra, have Paris to delete them pictures. Because I know you sent it to her and told her to post them. Have her to delete the pictures. And she was like, now you see how it feels. This what you get. This what you get. Saying she wasn't going to delete the pictures. So the pictures stayed up for hours. The pictures stayed up for hours. Now every bitch that don't like me, all these hang ass hoes who been not liking me, they posting it. It's all on Twitter. My pussy. I have a whole son. They got to grow up one day. And see some shit like that. Like Kim Kardashian, her little sex tape that got out. Her kids had to grow up and see they naked ass mama on the internet. Bitch, I, if I wanted a motherfucker to see me naked on the internet, I would have started OnlyFans. So you posted my fucking naked pictures for what? And I'm still not saying nothing on the internet. I didn't say nothing on the internet. Nothing. Nothing. I didn't say nothing. And my naked pictures is up for hours. So after so many hours, I'm like, oh, bitch, you finna have it. Now you finna, I'm finna take it there. Like, y'all ain't gonna delete the shit. I'm gonna take it there. And that's exactly what I did. I exposed the bitch. Y'all wanna expose me, post my naked pictures, and I'm telling y'all to delete it. And y'all calling my son ugly and saying he look like Krishan, baby. Yeah. 
Your sister, though. I'm your sister. Paris is my niece. Paris, you stand up here saying my son is ugly. He look like Krishan, baby. You posting my pussy. Like, y'all doing all this. And I'm not saying nothing. I ain't even say shit. I didn't say nothing. So after so many hours of this shit on the internet still, my pussy and stuff on the internet, I exposed her. The truth, not one not, not one lie did I tell. And that's on my son's life. That's on my life. That's on my grandmother. God could take my breath out my body if I'm lying, if I told one lie about this girl. All these, oh, she used text apps. I got to not use text apps. I screen recorded and showed y'all that that was her number. Not one text app that I used. I did not tell not one lie. I still to this day have videos in this exact phone of more shit I can post of the truth. I showed every receipt to everything she was saying. To everything I was saying, I had a receipt to everything, like a video, a picture, a screenshot, a screen record. But I only exposed you, bitch, because you exposed me first. You brought this shit to the internet first. But by the time the blogs and shit had picked it up, Paris had deleted the pictures. So it's like they just looking at it like, oh, Sierra's sister is exposing her. They didn't see that they exposed me first. So now I'm just looking like I'm a jealous ass sister exposing my sister. That was never the case. Y'all started that shit first and you know that. I ain't trying to make me say, oh, I'm jealous because you got money. Like, girl, why the fuck would I be jealous of my sister? Because she got money. Like, bitch, you my blood sister. I want you to be a millionaire, bitch. I want you to be a millionaire. The hell, we sisters. Why would I not want my sister to be a millionaire? You really is trying to sit up here and say, I exposed you because I'm jealous of you? Sarah, you been having money. I would have been exposed you if that was the case. If I was jealous or ever felt some type of way, this would have been, you would have been got exposed. You would have been got exposed. I would have been did this if it was about me being jealous of you. Don't you think, don't you think I would have been exposed you? Like, girl, you can't really, you real life just try to play victim and say, oh, I'm exposing her. She exposing me because she jealous of me because I'm a millionaire. Girl, what? I want you to be a millionaire. You're my sister. Somebody need to be one in this, this motherfucker family. Like, girl, why the fuck would I be jealous of you because you're a motherfucking millionaire? Girl, get your money. Why she did? Why she say you did the same thing a couple of years ago? I thought y'all was close to your just when the shows the hair is giving the teeth. Saying you catfish, y'all. She tried to say I was a catfish because the picture she posted when I was fat, when I was two hundred and fifty pounds. Girl, I'm a hundred and sixty pound, fifty-seven pounds now. I lost a hundred pounds. Of course they look like. They, of course that looks like I'm a catfish. That's the whole. I was a whole different bitch on those pictures. I was a whole hundred pounds bigger. And I look totally different now. So of course they look like a catfish. I was fat as hell. All of a sudden, because I'm not sending that pics to my sis and my coochie, you know, ain't letting, letting my nigga play with me while he driving so hard, trying to show. Yeah, I keep letting this say lady like, they feel like she don't know they feel like stop with the dumb shit. She don't say this my blood sister since the last party. Exactly, like this my blood sister. We did come this client. Okay, let me read the comments. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. I thought y'all was close while she did. You this I hope y'all make cool. She wants to be the only one getting money and making money. Like, that's what it's giving. It's giving you want to be the only one making money and getting money. You want to be the only... You want you want this narrative. You want this narrative out like, oh, you're the millionaire and we just need your money and want your money. Like, you want to be the only one getting money when in reality, Sierra, you know that's not what's going on. Like, I mean, yeah, previously I was fucked up in the past. Who was it? I'm a real ass bitch. I'm not afraid to admit my truth. I'm a real ass person. Yes, I used to be fucked up. Who hasn't? Money has not always been good. My life has not always been perfect. And I will never portray that. 
But now I have an amazing ass life, so fuck the where you want to be the only one with money so bad. You hate that I don't need you. You hate that I don't need you, bitch. I don't need you for nothing. My life is wonderful. I literally, my man take care of me. Like, I don't want for nothing. I can ask this man right now to send me some money for some wipes, some diapers. He'll send a thousand, five hundred. I can ask him right now to go buy any shoe bag. Anything I want out of the store, he's gonna get it. My bills get paid. Anything I want, I get. Like, I live a wonderful ass life and I pray for this life. I manifested this life. So, girl, you wanna be the only one with stuff. You wanna be the only one with money, so bad. I want to paint this narrative like, oh, we're mad because you're not giving us your money. You're not supposed to give us your money. That's your money, sis. I'm not mad because you're not giving me your money. I don't need it. I have a man, honey, that gives me his money. I don't give my man his my money. <laughs> Caught that. Mm -hmm. T. Caught that T. Get a nigga with money. Don't spend your money on a nigga. The hell? Clock that T. I'm not out here spending my money on no nigga. Taking care of no nigga. My nigga take care of me. Okay. Take notes, bitch. Her money, her money should be in the conversation, right? Like, why did you bring that money? And then it's the fact that you tried to post, it's the fact that you tried to post the times you were Apple paying me for money, and then you would delete the, the messages of you seeing what the money was for. That's very weird. He was literally sending me money to go buy you perks. I tried to just post like, oh yeah, I was giving her this money for her baby. Girl, you gave my mom, you gave my son six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, one of them. After I had my baby, you the whole time I was pregnant, you ain't buy my baby shit. You ain't playing no baby shower. You ain't throwing me no baby shower, but you out here throwing bitches you don't even know. Bitches you out here dogging. Oh, that shit don't even matter. But now one time you threw me a baby shower. You such this millionaire. You ain't did shit for my son, your nephew. Some of you may think that there was nothing wrong that Sierra did. But let me remind you, Sierra has been going live for the past two weeks. And that's nothing new. She go live all the time to promote her business. But in the midst of that, when she's discussing her business, she finds a way to slip in some things in there about her sister and her mother. And to me, that's poking the bear. If you want to keep the peace, you can't poke the bear and then be surprised when the bear come out clawing your ass. It, it, you can't be surprised. So y'all, that is the end of this video. I will keep you guys updated should um, some things get posted between the two of them. <laughs> And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.